Have you ever wondered of creating a creative and interactive website like Apple and Bruno Mars, etc.? So what's the common thing among all these websites? Well, that's actually 3JS. So what is 3JS? 3JS is a library in JavaScript that allows you to manipulate the three objects directly into your browser. So what you have to understand is that 3JS via JavaScript allows you to use the WebGL in an HTML5 canvas. So WebGL is a JavaScript API that allows you to create 2D and 3D graphic rendering. A canvas is an HTML component that is a part of the HTML5 specifications and allows to display graphic rendering. 3JS via JavaScript allows you to drive WebGL and thus 3D. And the crazy part is that uh, there is no additional installation or plugin needed. Import the library and yeah, the 3D world is opened. So in this project, we're going to be creating a massive, not a massive, it's just a uh, basic uh, 3D model uh, in which we're going to be creating a mass using 3JS. So also we're going to be using few additional plugins, uh, yeah, like WebGL. So without any further ado, let's get started. So before getting started, we need, we need to focus on the maps and the background, which makes the project more realistic and uh, natural. So we're going to be using the map, which is the basic map. Uh, so it's kind of a texture and also I'm going to be using the cloud map, bump map and also the sketch map, which allows us to create more uh, realistic and in more depth of these uh, textures. So then we're going to be using the background, which is uh, which contains the stars over here. So for now, let's use this thing and also let's open up a project so here first we're going to be creating a basic html template and you can see i have linked my css over here and also i'm going to be importing few libraries which is the 3js and also the orbit controls and also data gui so let me take a step in explaining what is meant by orbit controls and also the data gui which we are using it over here so what is orbit control orbit control allows the camera to orbit around the target actually the camera can be controlled and uh, you can rotate the objects as well so that's what the orbit control allows us to do and what is my data gui well data gui is another very useful tool that we can uh, use to learn about the 3js as it allows us to quickly add a very basic user interface and which allows us to interact with the 3d scene and the objects within it so this is uh, the controls which you are uh, seeing it over here so I had also linked my uh, script.js file over here. You can uh, see it over here. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, write some CSS code. So it's a very basic thing. Uh, so first we're gonna be creating a body and we're gonna be setting its margin to zero and we're gonna be um, creating a canvas and we're gonna be setting its display to block. So then let's move on to script.js and inside which we're gonna be creating a scene, camera and a render. So uh, I had uh, cre created the render variable, scene variable, aspect variable, uh, camera variable and also the camera rotation variable and the rotation speed, auto rotation and the orbit controls. So we're going to be adding the lights. So I'm going to be adding the spotlight and I want to initialize it to something like white color so uh, which will make it more uh, realistic and um, which will give us in more depth on the Mars texture. So I'm going to be loading the texture. So first I'm going to be creating a texture loaded variable and I'm going to be creating a 3D sphere over here. So I'm going to be using the mesh in order to make it more realistic and also I'm going to be return, returning its material over here. And um, I'm going to be uh, using the glow material function in order to uh, glow the object. So for that I'm going to be creating a glow material variable and I'm going to be setting its uniform values and the glocal values and also its uh, vector values i'm going to be creating a vertex shader and also the fragment shader so what is in my vertex shader and also the fragment shader thought of creating a new video but let's complete that uh, in this video so what is in my vertex shader and fragment shader so what is in my fragment shader a fragment shader is the uh, same as a pixel shader uh, one main difference is that the vertex shader can uh, manipulate the attributes of the vertices which are corner points of your polygons. The fragment shader on the other hand take care of uh, how the pixels between the vertices look. They are interpolated between the defined vertices following specific rules. For example, if you want your polygon to be completely red, you would define all vertices red. If you want 
for uh, specific effects like uh, gradient between the vertices you have to do that in uh, fragment shader or the other way so the vertex shader is a part of the uh, early steps in uh, graphic pipelines somewhere between model coordinates transformation and uh, polygon clipping i think at that point uh, nothing is really done yet so however the fragments or the pixel shader the vertex shader is a part of the rasterizing the step where the image is calculated and the pixels between the vertices are filled in or colored so vertex shader is done on every vertex while the fragment shader is done on every pixel i think it's clear now so if you have any doubts then uh, comment down below i'll try to answer that so then uh, let's go ahead and continue our project so here i'm going to be adding the side blending and the transparent values and i'm going to be retaining the glow material since it's a glow material function so then i'm going to be loading the texture so for that i'll create a texture function and also let me create a planet function and inside that i'm going to be creating the surface generally i'm going to be creating the geometry material for the planet's surface in order to uh, initialize the texture and make the planet more realistic so then i'm going to be creating a planet's atmosphere and inside that i'm going to be creating two different variables which is atmosphere geometry and also the atmosphere material default values and i'm going to be creating another three variables which is atmosphere material options and also the atmosphere material and also the atmosphere so all these things will uh, include the cloud and the bump map to merge together which gives us a more realistic depth in the 3d object and let's create an atmospheric glow so for that let's create another three variables and we're going to be creating its planet's surface so then we're going to be loading the surface textures so for that i'll just create a for loop and let me introduce a texture property in options to the surface or texture property so inside that we're going to be creating the planet proto we're going to be calling the function and we're going to be using the texture property in order to initialize the surface material and also the texture property and we're going to be using the options dot surface and we're going to be initializing with respect to the texture property and we're going to be loading the atmosphere as well so for that let's create another for loop and similarly let's um, load the atmosphere texture and we're going to be retaining the planet variable so let's create a mars variable and inside which we're going to be creating the surface and we're going to be loading the textures okay so then we're going to be creating its atmosphere and also the glow glowing sort of uh, light okay so for that i'm going to be setting its intensity to 0.7 and the fade to 7 okay so the colors must be realistic right so for that i, I had used uh, something like the reddish fade color yeah so then i'm going to be adding the marker proto in order to mark the exact uh, height and its uh, radius okay so the mask must be realistic right so for that i'm going to be using place marker and i'm going to be creating the place marker address so inside which we're going to be creating some uh, variables and also we're going to be setting it some uh, latitude and longitude in order to uh, make the surface more realistic and we need to uh, actually bump the map right so for bumping the map you need to actually uh, leave some space in between them so for that i'm going to be adding some some out around radius to 0.5 and height to 0 and its size to 0.1 okay so let's move on to the galaxy and the background must be realistic right so for that we're going to be creating um, two different variables which is the geometry material and for that uh, we're going to be creating another variable which is the galaxy and uh, we're going to be loading its galaxy texture and we're going to be creating the scene camera and the render configuration so for that we're going to be creating some uh, render methods and we're going to be creating a light configuration in order to make the mask more realistic and we should uh, fix a light right so for that i'll set its position to set and the values to 201 let's create the mesh configuration for the planet and let's uh, resize the window according to the size of the screen so let's create a main dot render function in order to render the surface and the atmosphere so finally let's create dat dot gui in order to uh, customize the controls so we're going to be customizing the everything like the camera the atmosphere and everything so for that let's create um, camera controls and the surface controls and also the marker controls and the atmosphere controls as well so we're going to be creating an atmosphere glow value to something like uh, this value which we have uh, used above and also we're going to be creating um, so we're going to be creating the speed and the orbit controls finally we're going to be creating the rotation the bump map and the shiningness so let's add uh, another uh, marker controls which is address color place marker and finally let's create the atmospheric controls to glow intensity fade and everything okay so hope now it should work so we can see the textures that we have used it's quite amazing right so the background is also incredible so where can i use this uh, 3d model wherever you want like the landing page the responsive like everything everywhere 
home page about page anywhere you can uh, use this template so all you need is just a basic knowledge of how to create this 3d model and also the basic concepts behind this so behind which you can create an awesome 3d model like this so as you can see the gui has a couple of more options like the atmosphere which we had created before and you can adjust its speed and also you can check on the orbit controls in order to control its orbit so everything is quite good so you can use this project anywhere you want uh, it's completely for free and um, if you enjoyed this video then um, hit the like button and consider subscribing so i'm planning to create a 3gs course uh, based on this uh, basic concepts behind this um, interactive and 3d websites so if you want uh, to be enrolled in this 3gs course then uh, go to our website uh, epicprogrammer.com and uh, make sure to leave your email below and pr we promise we don't uh, spam any emails okay so we'll be updating you once the uh, 3gs course is on the track and uh, you can purchase it for a very cheap price. And that's pretty much it. I'm leaving.